My name is Tayo. I'm 10 years old. Um, I love this school. All right, Kayo, a pleasure to be with you. I'm Lou Bell Brown. I have the privilege of serving as your superintendent and superintendent of schools here in Ithaca. And I'm not gonna tell you how old I am, but I'm a little bit older than you. Let's talk, what are you gonna talk about today? Like, what is your favorite part of this year? My favorite part of this year was being back this year. Our educators are here, families are walking in. You know, it wasn't too long ago when our buildings were closed and we weren't able to have young people and educators in buildings. So every day we can come back, makes it a special day. What's your favorite part of being a superintendent? My favorite part of being a superintendent? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. My favorite part of being a superintendent. All right, one, I get to get dressed up every day, all right? I love wearing ties. My daddy would have my brother and I wear a shirt and tie to school every day. People used to always make fun of it, like, why do y'all dress up every day? Now I wear a shirt and a tie to school and to work every day and nobody says anything. <laughs> so one, I like to dress up. Two, I like to hang out with young people like you. I am learning something every day. And I'll be honest, and I hope, don't tell the adults this, I learn from young people every day, more so than I do with older folks and adults. Do you like reading books? Oh yeah, I love to read. After school, do you read stuff for school or do you just read because you like to read? I sometimes read graphic novels if I have them. Hey, I grew up on graphic novels, happy to share with folks that I read comic books every day. And I would say uh, the Spider-Man series is my favorite. Close second would be Black Panther. Do you like the second movie of Black Panther better or the first one? Ooh. I must say I like the first Black Panther the best. Do you like, um, like movies? Yeah, no, my family and I, we do movie nights a lot. Um, and I have lost out on being able to pick the movie we watch. So now my kids pick the movies, but yeah, we watch a lot of movies. And we watch all the Marvel movies. When you were a child, did you, did, was this like your dream job? Was this my dream job? Yeah. No, I didn't know what a superintendent was when I was your age, or even when I was graduating from high school, I didn't know what the superintendent is. So this was not my, I, my dream job was to be a coach because I played a lot of sports and I loved my coaches and I wanted to be just like them. So I wanted to be a coach and I wanted to be a kindergarten teacher. So I did both of those. I coached what? Coached sports. basketball, football, and baseball. And I ended up coaching football, basketball, and baseball and teaching kindergarten. <laughs> that was my dream job. Now, I'm gonna go back and do that one day. When, when you're the superintendent, when you take this job, I'm gonna go back and teach and be a coach again. Will you hire me? Probably. Probably? <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to work to get to win a job in your school district. When, when you were a child, what would you do at recess time? What did I do at recess time? Much, many of the things y'all do at recess now. <laughs> We would do things that would get us in trouble and time out. Let me be clear. All right, we did all those things. But most importantly, we were outside and we were with our friends and we were having fun and we were staying active. You know, we were taking care of one another. And sometimes that got out of hand, but it was always fun. What was your favorite year? Like elementary school, middle school, high school, college? What was your favorite year? Oh, man. What grade are you in? I'm fifth. Fifth grade was my favorite year. All right. <laughs> nah. My favorite year was last year, fourth. Fourth year was your favorite yeah, year? Yeah, it is actually kind of fun. No, I, I think uh, elementary school was my favorite. Um, but I can't think of a bad year. I would do all pretty good. Were you a child? Was you doing an like, instrument? I did the snare drum for a little bit. In the school district in which I grew up in, um, not every child had access to the program. So you needed to have money, you needed to have uh, additional resources to rent an instrument or to buy it, and then to take the classes. My family didn't have a lot of money, so I wasn't able to stay in it. That's why here in Ithaca, we make uh, opportunities to play instruments and be a part of cool specials and co-curricular programs. We make that available to everyone um, because it's important for everyone to have that access. When you're happiest in school, and when you are having the most fun and learning the most, what's happening? What's making that possible? Probably the teachers. The teacher? Yeah. Uh, right. What about a good teacher makes all that possible for you? What do they do? They're stern, but not in like a bad way. So they hold you to high expectations. Yes. And they love you. Yeah. They want you to do well. And when you, do, when you are not meeting those high expectations, they uh, challenge you, don't they? 
Hey, thanks for sharing. What I want to ask you about is, how did you get that hair? Like, I want more hair. It just grows really fast. Like, it grows like, fast? Like in like a month, I already have like a big afro right there. Wow, well, congratulations on looking so cool and for taking care of your hair in that way. Because as you can tell, um, I don't have that privilege anymore. You know what I love about Fall Creek? The people. When I come here, people are walking to school. They're coming in, they're happy, they're smiling. The educators love the young people we serve. And I love the size, it's the perfect size. And most importantly, don't tell anybody. My favorite part about your school, the playground. <laughs> I've grown up on that playground and so have my kids. And I can't wait for the new playground. I remember Mr. Bell was designing with the, these designers come in yeah. and they tell us like, what do you want for the new playground? Yes, that's awesome. And they take some ideas. Thank you for the conversation. I learned something from you today. You didn't look at that paper one time. I told you you don't need it, bro. You don't need it. You got it all up there.